Hello, everybody still here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ignore that, man. Ignore that, but now, now, but now, but thanks, thanks, doing good. <laughs> thanks, doing good, man. I just got finished watching the lights turn off, so I'm just trying not to kill all these aquas. All these SPS goals. Tank's doing good, it looks like. I want to. I gotta stop this music, it's driving me crazy. Hold on. I like the music, I think now. You got the happy, you got the happy juice happening there. Yeah, but you know what's weird? Because the website has been closed down, but the music is still playing. I don't know why. And that takes care of that. Weird. All right. We're going to leave the music off for now. So, <clears throat> you still with me? Yeah, I'm here. Awesome. I'm here, man. I'm hanging. I'm monitoring the chat. Sweet. I'm, I'm wondering if you. I'm wondering if you can even see it. Can you see the chat? I can see the chat. Okay. And everybody can see the chat, of course, and everybody can hear CJ, right? Good. I hope they still can. So, do you like? We will just talk for a few minutes here. Do you like? Uh, what do you like better? I'm sure you like your new larger tank better than your 45, right? Man, it's a slow it's a slow transition. This tank is finally starting to make me feel like the forty five is, you know, in the past. Okay. But uh not there yet, man. Not there yet. But I think in another year I think year two of this tank, they're gonna make the JBJ's year two look like child's play. So look like the sandbox for kindergartners. So But <clears throat> you find that the 45 was easier to take care of, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt, man. Without a doubt. You know what? The, the funny thing is, as much as I've learned with this tank during the, the process of keeping this one, if I could go back in time and have that JBJ for another year or two, oh, it would have been even crazier. I would have been able to play around with, with the, you know, the color core, the uh, core coloration and growing stuff out and maybe even make some different cores in there. I would have been able to really do some extra with it. But the JBJ definitely deserves its shine, though, man. It was a great tank. Uh, it, it, it accomplished a lot in a short amount of time. You did. I mean, your video quality looked awesome, and you were just using your iPhone, and uh, it just, everything was popping, man. And you got popular really quick because people loved that tank. It was great. Do you still have that tank? No, uh, I had to liquidate it, and that's one thing I do regret, is uh, liquidating that entire tank and all of my corals. God, wait, because some of the corals I had in there, I've never found again. Two years later, still can't find them. Oh, man. Nowhere. So, yeah. But living you learn, man, when I upgrade from this tank, I will be keeping corals from this one for the next system. That's for sure. Well... Um. Did you have to liquidate that tank? Yeah, oh um, yeah, fun man. My ambitions were a lot bigger than my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hear you. That's pretty much how it is. People are like, "When are you gonna get a bigger tank?" I, I don't know, dude. It, it's just too much yeah. damn money. I love my one twenty-five. I just can't afford it. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, I mean, if it wasn't for getting discounts and trying to get sponsorships or whatever, uh, this tank never would have happened, honestly. And now that I think back, you should have gave me this tank for, for, for free. Uh, I'll share with everyone. I got 30% off this tank. Nice. Yeah, 30%. But that's not nice. That's not nice because now that I look back, I probably sold at least 20 of these tanks during the time I've had it for a year, if not more. Wow. So... It kind of makes me feel like, damn, maybe, maybe I uh, came to the table not, not really realizing what I was really doing. 
You know what I'm saying? Because I set up a tank, I keep a series in that tank for the life of it. Right. Ain't no telling how many videos this tank's gonna have. How many times people are gonna see SCA 120 gallon on my YouTube channel? Hmm. It could be 40, 50, 60, 80 videos over five years, maybe more. So I'm sure more. Let me, let me learn, man. But well, I love your new tank, but I miss your old one. That tank, that yeah. tank was awesome, man. It's like you yeah. never had any problems with that 45. Everything was perfect. Yeah. The corals were perfect. Everything popped. It was great. And I miss the smaller tanks because if there's an issue, like I said before with this green hair algae thing, you know, I could do a 50 gallon, 50 gallon, a 50% water change just by doing like 15 gallons. It was easy. It was great. Oh, yeah. It definitely was. Like a 200 gallon a box of reef crystals on that JV, on that JVJ would have lasted me the whole, the whole year almost. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, it's kind of a funny story. So, you know, I'm going back to Instant Ocean. I'm getting away from the reef crystals. Um, so I got an email today because the salt, I need it by the weekend, but the salt was supposed to be delivered tomorrow. Well, I got an email from Amazon saying that <laughs> there was a huge disaster and the box, I guess, fell. They went into detail. The box actually fell out of the truck and all over the road so it just bust open like 200 gallons worth of instant ocean salt and mm -hmm. i guess everyone else's packages too so they're going to send yeah. me out another thing of instant ocean at no charge obviously but i won't be getting salt tomorrow but i'm just envisioning this thing like bust open on the highway everywhere hey man if it was if it, if it was slick out there i guess they slick no more yeah you know, man just 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 out to the roads but but yeah, I mean, I, I think what, <laughs> it took though, care of the roads for him. That's right. One thing I will say though, that that JBJ was more relatable to people in the hobby that starting off. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if it was a budget tank, it was it was strictly budget. It was cheap. You know, I didn't have anything high end or anything. And then I get this tank here, and it's like I haven't even mentioned the word cheap at all during this setup. <laughs> no, <laughs> like I kind of. It kind of left everybody behind with the JBJ, which I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But the well, question, you, man, is part of the hobby. You did an awesome job setting up that new tank. I mean, you took your time, and right. it took, like, what, three years before you put fish in it, I think. Yeah, and, you kept saying that, man. You're like, you were literally <laughs> going to put water. <laughs> like, dude, are, are you even going to, like, have fish in your fish tank? <laughs> yeah. But it Thing looks was dry awesome, for like man. Like three or four months. <laughs> like yeah. three or four months of being dry. <laughs> it was really helpful. And you know what, man? Congratulations on the channel. Like you totally exploded. Like your 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 count just it awesome. A lot of subscribers. That's really good. Appreciate it, man. Hell, we all we all making moves, man. We all making moves slowly but surely. You know, I think I think if you didn't have multiple channels in multiple directions, you were putting your time into. Like no doubt yours would, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you're you got, right. You got like you got like 20 different things. It's crazy, man. I love doing it all. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the Joker thing built. That thing's grown without even trying. Oh, that's what she said. Um, what else? I've got the Rotter Studios thing, which is my photography and video production. And you know what? That really wasn't growing too much. But I put a couple videos out there with uh, just ripping on like Disney and how they destroyed Star Wars and that just skyrocketed. Now I've got like a lot more subscribers than I thought I was gonna have on that. And it, it's just too much going on. There's just too much going on. But it's yeah, fun. It's absolute craziness, man. What do you think about the uh, that YouTube change, man? Because I, I know this channel here is well above what the requirements are, but did that affect your side channels, the other ones that you have running? Yeah. Oh, something, <laughs> yeah, something it's a, that kind of was shot in the shot in the gut. Um, man, it's I got a few people hooked on YouTube as well, a few of my friends, and it's destroyed them. Um, it's bad news, man. I don't know why they're doing it. I know why they're doing it, but I I don't I don't understand it. And it's it's that whole Logan Paul thing. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about it, but I also, you know, heard that wasn't the entire 
entire reason or whatever. But but you know what? Let me tell you a quick story. Yeah. Um, this is this is this is one reason why I feel like it's going to be a good thing. And hear me out first before you. Yeah. Uh, hit, me, hit me hit me with your rebuttal. Some people who make a living off of getting rich off of viral videos or videos that did not take time to create because YouTube allows them to before the change. They can have two subscribers hit a viral video for 20 million views of something they stole from someone else, get rich, close the account, leave the country, whatever the case may be. Personally, I had someone recently, uh, last week, or we could, I think it was last week, I think, literally steal my JBJ videos, start a channel, use my JBJ tank as a channel art, and the first video he had was my JBJ my nitrate video with the music turned off, silenced, and basically acting like it was his. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. He, did and they so they just put music over your video? No, he didn't even put music over it. He just muted it. Just muted muted my voice, mute, muted the music, muted everything. And you know how long it takes to get views and subs when you right. start off. You know, yeah. it's slow normally. You know, your first video maybe six or seven views or something. Right. He had one video on there. He had already gained like 40 subs. The video had already had like 60 views, like 20 likes, literally. He just had put it up the same day. <laughs> so, How'd you find out about this? Yeah, somebody told me, one of my subscribers, that was like, hey, someone, I've seen your JBJ video somewhere. Here it is. They shot me an email. Let me know who it was. I didn't blast it on YouTube because that's just like how I like to do things. You know what I'm saying? And how people go troll and all of that. No, I went approached him. I gave him an hour to take it down. And then he didn't. I reported him. He got it taken down. He got a copyright strike. I haven't seen a video of since. So, oh, my God. You know, stuff like that really hit home with me thinking that, you know what, I'm glad this change happened. Because if someone's going to steal some stuff like that, I don't want them profiting. That's the way I look at it. So, I agree. But how do you think this new YouTube thing is going to stop things like that? Because what if he gets 2,000 subscribers because of all your old videos that he's downloaded and he's got it on his hard drive? Let's say you don't know. So, what's the chance of making it that long, though, without one of those subscribers blowing the whistle on him and knowing someone? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it, it, would, it would take a while. And ultimately, the thing is, it's going to reward the creators that actually do content. You do content. You make great stuff. You know what I'm saying? So when you do hit the threshold, the AdSense is basically going to be like there's 100 advertisers looking to, to advertise, right? Right now, there's 100 different people. Maybe 80% of them are trolls or people stealing stuff. 20% are people who make content. Yeah. Okay, you wipe out the 80% next month. Now that it's 100 advertisers fighting for the 20% of good content guess what the price goes up your assets revenue goes up per video per view next thing you know your channel's worth more than it was before the change happened two to three times more what it will be so at the end of the day i'm looking at it like it sucks now but i'm looking forward to march i'll let you know if it was a good thing or not <laughs> let let me know. Let, you know let me know yeah. um mm -hmm. because that's a good point and i thought of that too is it mm -hmm. gonna because youtube even though I love it and I'm addicted to it and I work on it all the time, they are a greedy machine and I'm wondering if what you just said is true. Are they going to keep the revenues for themselves or are they going to share a little bit more out because they've raised the bar? So yeah, you'll have to let me know. I mean, I'll see a change too, but um, I, that's that's good. I don't know. I just don't know. Are they going to... Well, it's hopeful, hopeful thinking. Maybe, you know, hopefully it works out like that. I'm just trying to stay positive. If it don't, then... Ugh. I don't know. It's amazing what these guys make, man. You know, I mean, I'm watching, I watch YouTube all the time. Like, I didn't quite like this guy too much at first, but I like him a lot now. Um, you know, PewDiePie, the number one guy. Mm -hmm. That dude makes <laughs> sick, sick money, man. I don't have to tell you. He's making like, God, I can look it up, but he's he's doing like, you know, Three hundred thousand a month, just insane, insane. Yeah, but that's why I like to have fun with like you know what 
the Joker stuff to me, it's just like on autopilot. It's just fun to do. It just, you know, gets right. it gets me to release stress and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. And then sure. uh, the the Rider Too Brief, you know, to be honest, I didn't think it was going to grow as big as it did. And it's fun because I love, as you do, all these people in this community. Mm-hmm. Um, There's great people, and that's why I like to do the live stream. Who else, who else are you going to talk to? The number one reason why I'm on YouTube is because we don't have enough people available around us in real life right. to share our hobby with, period, point blank. Whatever your hobby is. Can you walk around talking in the Joker voice to everybody? <laughs> can you really? No. You know what I'm saying? No. It's like, when you do it on here, you got a wealth of people that's just waiting, they're just craving it. So, I mean, it's an outlet, man. It's a great outlet. It's it, is. it is. Regardless. It's a lot of fun. And I'll record yeah. something for you. That'd be cool. Just just let, drop me a line. Let me know what you want to what you want to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We can play around with that. That'll probably freak people out. People uh, will definitely freak freak out. <laughs> yeah, and it's I don't even do it. I won't do it, and I won't do it in front of people. It's just it's got to be here by myself. It's just too silly. Right, right. You know, it's just right. too silly. You got to get it. in your, You got to go through your warm up and all that stuff. You know, yeah. whatever it takes to get in the mode, <laughs> paint your face. Uh, light your candles you know that's what i do i make my videos man i like i light my candles and i get some hot buttermilk and hot chocolate you know and light some incense man and uh you know i take a sip of the buttermilk after every sentence and that uh that, that helps smooth it out man you so, you are being easy look. man <laughs> i got the incense down here too except mine is uh a skeleton in a skeleton filled boat <laughs> Whatever. Listen, cool. I, I go I go to the hood store, man. They got them in there for it's fifty metal. cents, and they're like three they're like three feet long. That incense will burn yeah. for like two years. <laughs> well, you know what, dude? I mean, you got the saltwater hobby thing going. You've got the be easy voice. You're always in your silk robes. Uh, <laughs> you combine saltwater tanks, which are relaxing enough, but then you got your voice, I mean, dude, you've got it down. That's awesome. I got a, I got a, I got a niche until, and, and, you know, until someone chops me in the throat and ends my career. But it's all right. <laughs> it is what it is. You I'll know what? Go some, back to, I'll go back to music. <laughs> <clears throat> someone brought up a point here, and I'm sure you thought about that too. And I, I kind of did too. You should put a, I mean, there's ways around it, but you should put a watermark on your videos. Yeah, that's a good idea. YouTube gives you the option, but I never, I never imported a, a picture or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I tried it, but every picture I chose was too big or didn't fit the format. I need to quit being lazy and do that. Yeah, but you know what? I really do. After you yeah. edit your videos, just the whole length of the video, mm-hmm. maybe like a a thirty percent opacity in the lower left, just have like mm-hmm. your channel name. Right. Just have it down there in the lower left. So it's it doesn't take away from the video. It'll add professionalism, and it lets people know that it's been stamped and it's yours. That's what you should do. You know. Yeah, I think you're right, man. I think I think I think I will, man. You push me to to go ahead and do it. You know, not to mention people downloading it. You know, who, yeah. who does that, man? Who who does that, dog? Like, I would have never thought someone would do that for a fish tank video. You gotta be kidding me. It's fish tanks. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It Dude, they don't care. Laugh. They don't care. They see how good your quality is. They see how awesome the corals were and the tank and everything, and they're going to take it. And people yeah. do, people don't care. People don't care. They're they're going to do what they can. Um, I, I saw I, – I found some of my photographs that I took online, and – I, I, I was just looking around. I don't know how I came across it. I saw a handful of my images that I took on someone's website. They're using it as their portfolio. This is a couple of years ago. And, and it was my guitar, and it was a model that I shot. It was her and my, with my guitar. And it just – so I got a hold of him. I'm like, you take these right down. Take it down. And he's like, man, I'm sorry, you know, I'm just kind of starting out. And I just found pictures on the web that I, just to build up my portfolio, I'll take them down once I, once I get my business rolling. I'm like, no, take them down now. All right. 
Yeah, that's nuts, player. That's nuts. But yeah, people in the chat, hey, if, if, I hope that's a review. If you guys are typing anything in the chat that he has on his block list, then it's not going to show up. So whatever you're trying to say, he has it screened for a reason. So respect the chat. <laughs> Well, I wasn't looking at it. What what's going on? No, nah, I don't know. They're trying to figure out if something's been hell. I think someone's trying to say something. But uh, but yeah, what's going on with your take, man? I've been watching here lately, man. You've been you've been doing this uh this algae removal marathon, man. Have you finally got the upper hand? Have you finally crossed the <clears throat> I think throat? so, man. You know what I think so. And you know, to be honest, uh I'm glad you brought that up because you know I was doing a different type of video every week. You do a different type of video every week. You teach something new every week. And I haven't been doing that. I've been sticking on this algae marathon, as you put it. And I thought, man, this is really going to bore people. I'm going to lose subscribers or whatever. But you know what? At the end of the day, I'm like, this channel is to help people, number one. And for two, it's to document about my tank. And for three, it's to get people to come together. So I just figured, screw it. Whatever happens in my tank, whatever I do to my tank, I'm going to put it up there, even if it means like seven or eight videos. And it shows the progress mm -hmm. of what's doing, what, how it's doing. Yep. So the green yep. algae thing got way out of control. But it's, it's still how it was when I showed it on Sunday. There's no algae mm -hmm. on those rocks I scrubbed off. And I may have a beat, I want to say. But, dude, I took, like, a third of my rocks out, and I put them in a bucket, rinsed them out, scrubbed them out, put peroxide on it. The water was so black, and just all this nasty algae wow. was just leaking mm. out of the rock. And I dumped the bucket into the laundry tub, and it was just black and dark green with, oh, my God, I can't believe that stuff was in my tank, and it smelled so bad. So no reason why that stuff was just exploding in my tank but i've never had that problem before in my aquarium and i was doing some research and, and i'm not blaming red sea but i'm just saying that i found a lot of people on many different forums that had the exact same problem and it's not just like an algae breakout it was an explosion of insanity mm -hmm. so yeah i think i've got it under control and um, I'm looking forward to getting the tank back into shape. I'm going to get a little more cleanup crew, uh, get my refugium mm -hmm. going, and we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to being yeah, crystal yeah. clear again. You know, it's far. Yeah, so Go ahead. You think you got to? Uh, you think you? Do you think your tank just hit a tipping point? Did you have know. that same tank and rock and, and heavy bottle load for what, three years now? Four years? Um, maybe longer. I'd say rock for about four years sand and tank for two it's going to be two in march um so i don't know i mean you know what yeah. <clears throat> i did everything you did as mm -hmm. you know turkey based in the rocks the flow was yeah. good i was vacuuming my sand i fed them every other day um right i mean right. that's yeah I don't know, it's man. Probably, it was it was it was probably at the point to where you did, needed you had to do what you did, yeah. which was basically get those rocks so clean and basically reset those rocks. You know, get rid of the four years of blackness that was inside of them, yeah, and start them over again. I'm willing to bet that that may be it. I got a question for you though. You could be right. You could be mail. right. <clears throat> I just got a package in the mail, and mm -hmm. I got my first ten pounds of miracle mud. Mm -hmm. That I'm going to be trying to use. I got it out of the mail, and it feels like a bag of sand. <laughs> yeah, I haven't opened it yet. Right, but um, I know you just dumped it in and all that good stuff. But have you got any thoughts on it? Any any personal thoughts? I know you'll just throw it out there as far as what you think about it. Oh, I like it a lot. Um, before this algae um, outbreak, I put it in the tank, and like after a few days, I noticed like a difference like the corals perked up um, because they supposedly take it from you know the depths of the ocean it's dried out once the water hits it it comes back to life um, it's really healthy for the tank and a lot of people have done um, a lot of experiments with it and the tanks do come out healthier I can't remember his name but it's the guy who came out with the miracle mud an Asian guy i can't remember his name but he's a leader in the industry and he had four tanks set up for a year 
one with strictly the mud, one with mud and protein skimmer, um, one with okay. no mud, and long story short, the one with only the mud with six hours of protein skimming a day only was pristine. It was awesome. The corals were thriving. The glass was crystal clear along with the water. I like it. And supposedly with the Miracle Mud, if you use the amount that you need for your tank, like for a 125 gallon tank, you need 30 pounds, which is what I have. You don't have to do water changes supposedly, but I'm still gonna do the water changes. Um, right, right. The stuff is incredibly right. powdery. You put just a little bit in and it's like talcum powder. It just, it just, it just looks like mud water. So, um, Put the bag in your sump, if that's where you're going to put it. Slit the bag open. Let water enter the bag really slow. And just do it like that. And me, the dumbass, when I put the 20 pounds in, I think you saw that video. Yeah. Um, I, I accidentally kicked on the return pump. I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. Nope. Oh, yeah. Because all that stuff got pulled into the main tank. Yeah. It ended, up, it ended up working out, though. It still ended up oh, working out. Oh, it did. Out. It, it settled yeah. by, like, you know, mm -hmm. the morning. But, you know, people were like, man, I'm surprised you, you put that on your your channel. Like, yeah, I'm going to put whatever happens, even if it's a dumbass well, I, gar you know? I, I guarantee thousands of people had done that and watched <laughs> you do it and were like, somebody finally told the truth, man. Now, now people about to start coming out talking about my miracle mud touch to me. No, I'm <laughs> just like... <laughs> but uh i want but, people to but, see what happens you know you know <laughs> oh so reef keeper said um his name is lang sai l-e-n-g and then sai is s-y yeah he did an awesome thorough experiment um really great yeah. guy i also also heard something about the miracle mud you know hanging out on different streams and things that that recommended amount is based off of the uh, you're relying on the mud as your filtration. Right. But if you're only relying on it for the, you know, the miracle side of it as far as the trace element, you can get away with a lot less. So that's what I'm hoping to do because my filtration is, is strong. I really don't need it for that. I'm just trying to do it for the trace element benefit. So well, you should be okay. Man. I can't wait to see what you find on that because um, I don't know anything about that yet. Um, by switching over to Instant Ocean, it's also going to save me a lot of money. I've used Instant Ocean for since I started, and I love it. So now with the Miracle Mud, I don't have to rely on the trace elements that much. So that's another test I'm looking forward to doing, um, seeing yep. if it keeps the calcium and all magnesium and everything. Um, if it doesn't, fine. I don't care. Um, like I made right. the joke on the video. I said, <clears throat> what did I spend? I'm making this up. I can't remember. It's expensive. What is it, like um, 50 dollars for like yeah i pay like 54 55 bucks i caught a deal on ebay for 10 pounds see it's 55 bucks for 10 pounds you know so. some dude is probably just taking it from someone's grandma's backyard and bagging it right you know? it's like, right <laughs> <laughs> i wonder if there's a way to confirm if we if we're getting some kind of hammy you know hammy down <laughs> mud man, it, really could we know you know what i'm saying dude you're not i wonder, I wonder if there's like a seal on the bag like a signature or something man that's a good question. <laughs> You're not going to know. Like, <clears throat> well, we should probably take this conversation offline, but you and I should start a business like uh, <laughs> Miracle Salter. I don't know. You know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, like your, I, like, I, like, I like your style, man. But, yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be pretty cool, man. But I'm going to be adding. I'm going to go swipe by the dollar store and get me some, uh, some containers to put it in because uh, I don't want it just land in the sump. I, I need it compartmentalized so I can keep things at least modular in a way I can remove it if I need to easier. That, um, yes. I'm going to do that and then uh, put it in the sump and we'll see what happens. Man. If it ends up crashing the tank, I'll make a video. If it does great, I'll make a video. Either way, we document that tank, you know, for better or worse. So I think that's a great idea mm -hmm. and a lot of people do that. And you just go get yourself, like, like um, I was going to just get like four Tupperware containers, you know, the, the longer ones, yeah. and yeah. put it in there dry, get, get yeah. some salt water from your tank, and just put it in there so it muds up, 
And when it muds yep. up, after like five or ten minutes, you can just slowly okay, drop it in your sump. Back. And that's what I did yeah. the first time as a test, and it worked perfectly. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I don't know, I had the dumbass idea to just put the bag. I should have just stuck with my plan of, you know, putting yeah. it in people, four containers. These people in the chat are making a ruckus about moderators. Um, this wasn't around when you first had Reef Radio a year ago. Uh -huh. But you can actually click on anyone's name in the chat from the YouTube. Yeah. And it will allow you to add them as a moderator. It gives them a blue wrench that gives them authority over your chat to delete comments, trolls, to post links, whatever the case may be. It's kind of like an extra set of hands and eyes for you. Oh, that's really cool. To, uh, to do that. So, you know, whoever you deem to be a moderator, whatever the case may be. How did um, you do that? You went over their name? Yeah. Yeah, go over their name. You should be three dots to the right of their comment. Yeah. And you should be able to click on it. You can either block them, time them out, add as moderator. It should give you an option. Uh, okay. Add as moderator will give them power. But um, just, you know, use with use with, uh, with caution because I had to kind of cut back some moderators on my channel because people were just going ham with the wrenches. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so someone come in and say, be easy, wham, they blocked the band from the channel, you know. <laughs> I'm like, damn, you know, what's happening here? But uh, but it's, def it's definitely a help, though, man, because you can't keep your eyes and ears on everything. Trust me, when you talk this back up again, the Reef live stream junkies are so strong right now, so strong following, they will come. Word will get out that Steve has a Reef radio. You can call in. It's like a Reef. It's like, it's like the Howard Stern of Reefing. All he needs is a robin in the back corner. Right. You know, some hot chick or something. Yeah, you that's know, right. And uh, everybody's yeah. going to come coming. <laughs> i got to find one. But yeah, mm. there we go. Billy Potts got the pipe. You know, yeah, I just... You gave him... a plumber a wrench, man. Yeah. What, 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 what's the humor in that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I remember when, when we first did this, you and I and... Some some other people, you remember that big chat? It was a mm -hmm. couple of years ago, whatever. Yeah. The jackasses that were coming into that chat, man. Yep. Bad. And yep. you know what I did? It was, I mean, I didn't know. I, I I took that link from the live chat and I just said, here's the link for everybody to join. So everybody mm -hmm. was joining in. So hopefully it'll mm -hmm. be different. I mean, of course, they can call the phone number, which is fine. I'll just have fun with that. But um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, things the radio, change. Definitely. The, the phone, the radio is definitely unique to you, man, and that's what set that's going to set yours apart from everyone else's. That's that, the very cool part about it, man. No it doubt. is cool, yeah, because people love to hear you, and yeah. they get to chat with each other, they get to hear us, they get to hear you. That's it's really cool. Yep, good deal, man. So, so what's the schedule, man? Is it back on schedule? Or are you just going to try it one time to kind of get the rest out and decide from there, or what you? Well, I want to do it. I mean, like you said, I've got like, you know, eleven YouTube channels, whatever, and uh, so yeah, I'm. We're gonna do Friday nights. I'm maybe every other week just to start and see how it goes. I would love to do it every Friday, for an hour, right? We say that, but then it winds up to be mm -hmm. three in the morning. But oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, it's already midnight here, and I gotta get up at five in the morning. But yeah, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be tomorrow at nine p.m. Central. And it'll go for an hour, um, and then so that's ten p.m. That's ten p.m. Eastern time for everyone else. So yes, yep, it's yep. gonna start. 10 Remember that everybody, everybody heard it. So hey, is that Friday too late? Night, no. What do you think, man? Nah, do, you, do you think we should Friday start it night? sooner? Listen, man, these everyone's conditioned to go live streaming into two, three in the morning now. All right, you can go as long as you want. I, I'm telling you, man, the whole culture has changed down here when it comes to live streams. Since, since you've ran it before. Totally different thing, man. All right. Totally different thing. Well, we'll keep it at 9 Central and see what happens. Once in a while, I'll do a Saturday morning because I know people in the U.K. want to join in, and they can't because they're sleeping. Um, All right. So, yeah, this will be fun. I mean, people have been asking me, like, when is it coming back? Yep. It's just no time to do it. Um, yep. And I'm I'll always following what, the, Man, the five-minute limit's going to be a great idea, too, because... You get one guy on there talking, and the next thing you know, half the show's gone. I know. You know, half, half the hour's gone. And 
that everyone's left out. So yeah, I think it'd be cool, man. I'm excited. Looking forward to it. Me too. too. And I don't want to do the five minute thing, but Mm -hmm. you know, I remember there would be people in the comments like, get this guy off the phone. Yeah. You know, so I felt bad. I I I didn't. I think the, I think the, I think the five minutes is great. It'll keep a pace about the show and it'll make whoever calls in specific to a topic and have them hang up and, get back in the queue <laughs> exactly they want to call back in again they can yeah, call back in again and you know what yeah. i think it'd be yeah. kind of funny because i'll probably set a timer yeah. and once it goes yeah. off i'm just gonna hang up on them even if yeah. they're in mid sentence. yeah if, yeah you know hey that'd be epic man that's epic. <laughs> <laughs> it would be it would be man it'd be like hey hey wait a minute five four eight have a have a big like red like Buzzer button or something, man. <laughs> like, I should have like a neon clock behind me that t- count, you know, and then once it, you're just gone. No warning, you're just gone. Look, yep, that's it. See, that's what it's going to be. I've been talking for over an hour. See, that's what happens. See, that's what happens. When you hop over here, you start talking, you ain't talked in a while, and, and then went over. But now I ain't going to stay up all night because it's 1 a.m. here. I know. <laughs> I got to work in the morning, too. I know. So. I wanted to say really quick, <clears throat> you yeah. probably didn't see the sh- before you go. You you probably didn't see the, the the marathon of me cleaning the damn tank for two hours. But um, I said something funny, and I didn't want to say anything because I wanted you to find it on on your own. But you probably not anyway. Anyway, so the tank was beyond nasty. It was so oh my god, it was so bad. And I said, uh, hey, you guys. You you've heard of CJ, right? And uh, Mile High Reefers and Aaron, morons. You're not <laughs> you're not anyone can have a pristine tank like that. But for this, you come here for this green nastiness. <laughs> and I I got some uh, laughs out of that because people know it's true because you guys keep your tank so nice. And here's me. Oh uh, yeah. With a, a disgust, oh dude, it was bad. It looked like a swamp. That's, 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 that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Now you know I missed it because I think while you was doing that, I was doing the three hour stream marathon of cutting freaking coils and gluing them to my tank. Oh man, my back and arms were hurting from doing that. So yeah, I, I think wish we I would have known that about that. The same time. <laughs> so do you? Uh, do it was you, boring. Do you have a set time that you do yours? Oh or, no, it's oh, I'm the worst. Okay. I am the worst with scheduling, man. I. I will pop up with a stream at midnight, and then the next thing pop up with one at noon, and then I pop up with once a week. All right. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm completely random as, as as times needed. But you know what? Hey, okay. we fought a good fight. We're still standing. Yeah. You know, a couple of years later. I know. And cheers, cheers to many more. Cheers to many more. Yeah. Well, I saw people in a couple people in the comments here. They're like. Um, Remember when Ed would call in and break the stream yeah. every time, and he did yeah. that bastard. So <laughs> hopefully he doesn't show up, ruining my show. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Yeah. Well, I want. I'm about to hop off here, man. I'm about to hop off. Hey. I I'll want. I want you to stay on for the <laughs> phone here for a second, um, and I'm going to end got? the stream because I want to tell you something. Okay. Um, you guys, you. we will see you tomorrow and 9 p.m. Central Time.